In cases where you want more control of the way a design is split, you can use manual placement of hoops. In this design, when automatic multi-hooping is applied, you may be surprised by the number of hoopings required. The screen shows three hoops, yet there are five required. Click OK. You only see three hoops. This is because the software maintains the correct stitching order of the design. Certain objects must stitch after other objects, so even though there are only three hoop positions, there are actually five hoopings required for this design. In this case, you may want to try rotating and moving hoops to see if you can get fewer hoopings. Go back to the Digitize Toolbox and watch the design stitch out through Stitch Player. Watching the Stitch Player can give you an idea of the way a design stitches. Notice that the white stitches first, then the gold. This will give you an idea of how the design will stitch out and where to place the hoops. You can also look at the stitch order in the color film to give you an idea again about the stitch order. Close Stitch Player and return to the multi-hooping toolbox. This time we will add our own hoops. Click Undo to return to one hoop. You can move and rotate hoops. Let's move the first hoop up and to the right. Click on Add Hoop to add a hoop, and it is placed in the center. With that hoop selected, you can enter a 90-degree rotation and move the hoop and place it so that it encompasses the black area. And click on Add Hoop once more. Again, rotate the hoop 90 degrees and press Enter. And then place this hoop so that all the black in the design disappears. Notice that the hoops are color coded. The first hoop to be placed on the screen is red, the second blue, and the third is green. This is not necessarily the order that the design will stitch in. After adding the hoops and repositioning them, and when everything is green, click on Calculate Hoopings. By making these changes, there is one less hoop. Click OK. You can choose to move them again and try different arrangements. Always remember to click on Calculate Hoopings. When you are placing hoops manually, it is usually best to create the most overlap of hoops that is possible so that the design has a better chance of splitting with fewer hoops. Also, placing a hoop over the area that stitches first will help you have fewer hoopings.